Hello, I am Mr. Gill. And I'm M. Bill the Science. And welcome to our semi traditional, not really traditional, but occasionally happening Sunday morning video filming, putting on YouTube thingy. Uh, today uh, we are just going to do a little bit of news. I think it's just a little, little general yeah. chat about Lego, Lego related news, things and bits and pieces and stuff and things. Um, there's not much out this week yeah. for us to kind of play with, so uh, we thought we'd just wait. Um, so we'll start at the top. I mean, I, it's been a while since we've had a chat, so uh, this is now in, what year is it? 2016. Yeah. It's September 2016, yeah. nearing the end of the LEGO release year. So pretty much there's only one release left, and then it's kind of, that's it, until uh, January when all the new stuff comes out. Uh, so the one release that is happening is, of course, the Star Wars one that yeah. happens pretty much every year around this time. Um, and this one is happening, of course, because of... Uh, the film, which is called Rogue, Rogue One. One, a Star Wars story. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. I knew all of that. Um, <laughs> and so there are eight, ten. Nine, eight or ten, some. Eight or yeah. ten or nine sets being released uh, yeah. for this. Um, and uh, some of them are pretty cool. Uh, we'll put pictures on the bottom if we talk about yeah. them specifically. Uh, some of them are pretty boring. Uh, the big one that's kind of been released now, and I guess is not really part of Rogue One, yeah. but is being early released now for uh, VIP holders, is the Death Star. Yeah. Um, now this has generated a lot of controversy. Yeah. Uh, contro controversy? Yeah. Controversy? Contro I don't, I don't controversy. know how to speak. Controversy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a lot of controversy. Uh, if you will remember, um, the previous Death Star, 10188, yeah. uh, went out of production last year. Uh, but around this time, December, I think it stopped. Um, yeah. And then Lego has now released this new Death Star, which is very similar. We will yeah. put a picture, and maybe if you want to just grab yeah. that. Oh. We'll put a picture of the new one. This, of course, is the old one, Ooh. Uh, which is quite beautiful. Yeah. Uh, very nice. It's been very popular. It's been around in production for nearly five years, I think. Yeah. Uh, one of the longest production sets they've ever had. Now, when we put the picture up, you'll see that the new one is extremely similar. <laughs> yeah, both in box and just overall look, and a lot more expensive. Yeah, a much. lot more expensive. Like a hundred dollars more. So yeah, and and I mean, it's not that many much pieces more. Yeah, um, which has generated a lot of controversy. I think yeah. a lot of people would have preferred a UCS model, so an Ultimate Collector Series, which is more of a display model versus a play model, which that one is. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the price point seems quite ridiculous. Uh, yeah. But I mean, that's coming out on early access now. I'm sure it'll be popular, but everybody likes a Death Star. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'll be stocking it at the shop. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't seem... I'll, I'll wait for a little bit and see yeah. how, how people go for it. Yeah. Um, I might buy it in the future, but that's... Mainly because I don't have the original. Yeah, okay. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Mm. So that's Wait. coming out. What also is coming out... Uh, so the Rogue One set's coming out. I think you told me the other day that the, the top two being talked about are the... Yeah, the Krennic Imperial Shuttle, which is the biggest line black Imperial Shuttle set. Yeah. And also the Rebels U-Wing. Or Rebel U-Wing. Yeah, which both of them look really cool. And are completely new ships for Rogue One. Okay, yeah. So the, the U-Wing fighter does look pretty good, actually. Yeah. Um, this is the one I'm giving away, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, cool. I'm giving this away. Oh, yeah. Follow, yeah. The, check my Instagram. Yeah, there's a, there's we've a got contest. a lot of things planned for Force Friday. Yeah, it's cool. So. And then the Krennix Imperial Shuttle looks pretty awesome as well. <laughs> yeah. I quite like that. Um... The rest of them look a bit boring. Uh, yeah. There's another, what, an ATST? Yeah, but that's somewhat interesting for all of the LEGO uh, Star Wars fans out there. We haven't got one since, like, yeah, seven years ago. Or seven years ago. So. Okay. All right. But still, it's a reissue. Yeah. <laughs> a hover tank, which looks a bit ugly, actually. Looks quite ugly. Yeah. It's, I don't like that at all. It, it's accurate to the movie, but uh, overall design is somewhat... Uh, yeah. It just looks crappy. Yeah. Um, Turbo Techno, that's already no. out. That's a, and this one, the TIE Striker. That looks pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. TIE Striker looks pretty cool. I like the idea of that. That's nice. So there's, yeah, it's about seven sets coming out then. Uh, I think they're yeah. going to be hugely popular. The film will obviously do uh, very well and people will go crazy for that. Um, so the Star Wars coming out. Uh, what's also coming out is the Caterham 
Yeah. Uh, so a Lego idea set uh, that Lego announced uh, last week, I think, and I think it's available in October. Yeah. Uh, to VIP and then the general release yeah. uh, November. I'll definitely be getting some, but in October. Yeah. Um, and so this is a Lego ideas. It's called the Caterham. Uh, it's based on a famous car, uh, racing car. I think. Yeah. I don't know much about cars, but it looks awesome, and you'll see a picture, I think. Yeah. If we if we do good, yeah, we'll there. try and add as many pictures as possible. <coughs> but one interesting thing is a lot of different media's have actually got the model and actually reviewed it online. So it's already being built, really? Yeah. Oh wow. A lot of people, for example, different sport car TV shows have okay. got it and actually reviewed it. So the most uh, things that stood out to me is no stickers everything is printed okay which wow. is uh, i think it was like 10 decorated pieces okay which that's a really big thing because some lego idea sets have had stickers before but everything is printed on this this version and also it's studless you can't oh, see yeah. any studs anywhere so built using the uh snot technique yeah a um, lot of snot techniques and just different curved pieces and all kinds of cool stuff it's uh pretty expensive yeah i haven't really seen the swedish price or any other price for that that's, matter. Oh, actually i'd say it's roughly going to be about 600 crowns oh yeah so it's about yeah. 80 us dollars how um, many pieces is there 700 oh that's so that's actually yeah, quite that's good. actually really good yeah hmm. i think this will definitely be popular um yeah. Idea sets are always popular, and I think, you know, cars are always popular. You stick the two together, bang, it's going to yeah. be great. Um, I'll definitely be getting... Yeah, getting I might this. actually, because it looks beautiful. I'm yeah. really not a cars person, no. not at all, So, but this car looks really awesome, so... Yeah. Um, things that have come out uh, recently as well, of course, is Big Ben, which I, we haven't reviewed. I haven't built yeah. yet. I haven't got a copy in the shop. Uh, I will be definitely doing that. Because uh, I have Tower Bridge and I want that to go next to it. Uh, Disney Castle, you built that, Ooh, didn't you? Yeah, it's really impressive. It's probably my favorite Lego set so far. Wow, okay, cool. Yeah, uh, it has so many cool details. And me and my family are big Disney fans. So it's really a masterpiece to have. Okay, all right, excellent. Um, I I think I think with Big, big Ben and possibly with the castle, I might uh, build them as display models for the shop and I might film them. Do yeah. it in a time lapse or oh, something like yeah. that, because uh, with those big ones, it's quite fun to do the filming because they're quite, you know, it takes a long time to get them built. Whereas with the smaller models, it just yeah. takes you, you film it; it's over in five seconds. So yeah, yeah. Um, okay, that's cool. Uh, what else came out recently? Uh, Ghostbusters Ecto One and Two, uh, the car uh, from the new rebooted movie, yeah. uh, which looks pretty good. You built that; you liked yeah. it. It's really awesome. I've got some yeah. We did somewhere. a breakdown. We did. We had to yeah. talk about it. Yeah, we should have done that again. Um, yeah. I should build one actually. Uh, but yeah, we'll do that. Um, other news in Lego World: uh, Mixels, the last series of Mixels, series nine, is coming out in a couple of weeks. Uh, I believe it's delivered at the same time as Rogue One stuff, and then that's it. Mixels is then cancelled yeah. forever, which is odd considering yeah. how it has only got more popular over yeah. time. You know, I, I I've been selling them since series four, I think. Yeah. And it's just more and more popular. They, they're selling out faster and faster. So it's a strange decision from Lego. Yeah. I think I read something about copyright issues between Lego and Cartoon Network who actually airs the TV show. Right. So it could be some licensing thing between there but hopefully lego will replace it with a new theme that kind of captures the same thing makes all did yeah i mean they they will have to bring something out because at that yeah. kind of price point i don't know what it is in your countries or but yeah. in sweden 39 crown is a very good price point for kids yeah um and they they need to have something to fill that gap because otherwise they're asking kids to either spend 29 crowns on a minifigure or 99 crowns on something you know and that's too big a yeah gap type of thing um and also i mean they, they 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 can't they've already lost shima yeah and bionicle yeah so those were both cancelled uh shima last year bionicle this year yeah now mixels they're whittling down their in-house uh, yeah <laughs> in-house themes quite a lot and my worry is, is that they just replace those with licensed themes yeah. as opposed to their own in-house stuff which has always been more creative and interesting to me yeah. um so effectively they're down three yeah things and they've only put nexo in nexo nights uh and that's not it'll it'll get there but it's not big enough yet to yeah. kind of fill that gap yeah one thing i'm really happy about is that they are really pushing 
elves and mechs and knights for next year. So yeah. that's really impressive, actually. Yeah, definitely. I mean, elves, I don't know. I'm a bit wary about elves. Speaking yeah. as a retailer, it doesn't seem to be doing that well. Yeah. Um, I would hesitate to say that it's... Uh, it's due for cancellation, yeah. <laughs> in my view. It just the kids just don't seem to get excited by it. Uh, Friends still sells well. City, Star Wars, Ninjas, even yeah. Nexo, but the Elves is just it just kind of sits for a long time. If I had a choice, I'd cancel Elves and I'd cancel Speed Champions. Yeah, only because I just I just they're boring. They're yeah, boring. haven't they? Yeah, I thought they cancelled Speed Champions. Maybe they have. Yeah, I don't know. They, there's not much else they can do. They, yeah, you know. they have pretty much done everything yeah. already. So. Yeah. Um, the only other thing coming out this year is the holiday train, Christmas yeah. holiday train, which looks incredibly awesome. Yeah. Um, and is going to be ridiculously popular. Yeah. Uh, you know, you stick a train and then you make it a Christmas train. Yeah. Yeah, easy peasy. It's yeah. going to go. Um, yeah, and a lot of people missed out on the original. Yeah. Holiday train from a couple of years ago. Yeah. So, so that's, I mean, if, if you like trains, keep your eye out. That, that yeah. one, and it will sell fast. And Lego, as usual, will only have made a small amount of it, yeah. and it'll go like, no, um, for sure. Yeah. That, for me, I say is going to be the the set of the year yeah. you know, type of thing. So um, if you're a VIP <coughs> member right now, you can already buy it from both Lego's website and Lego stores. Yeah, or you so. can give me a call. Yeah, that. <laughs> uh, but that's about it. We just wanted to have a quick chat about stuff yeah. coming up. Uh, tell us if you think that was interesting. Ask us any questions if you want. Um, we the next video we do will be a Rogue One set release video yeah. for sure because uh, that's the kind of the next big thing. Um, and then we will be doing. Uh, we're getting very close to starting to do our advent calendar stuff, which we mm. need to do a lot of work on. But that's about to start coming up soon. We've only got about a month and a half. Yeah. Or well, two months before that kind of kicks in. Um, and yeah, and that's it. Yeah. Follow, like, subscribe, Instagram, Twitter, Facebooks. Yeah. Everything. Cheers. See ya. See ya.